Hi, my name is Sarah Webb, and I wanted to thank you all for coming and listening to me talk about the Dallas Community Foundation grant that I'm applying for. In front of you, you'll see a copy of the grant and an outline PowerPoint to help you kind of follow along what I'm talking about. Um, I wrote this grant because the Dallas uh, Community Foundation has allotted a grant from, from Pearl Prowl uh, out of her estate for families that are trying to um, avoid homelessness. And in um, Mary and Aunt Polk County both, homelessness is quite an issue. So the grant I'm applying for is for $37,500, and it'll go toward um, preventing homelessness of um, individuals and families by assisting them with rent and utility um, assistance and that sort of thing. Um, what you really want to focus on is stabilization. So while the grant may be written specifically for um, rent and utilities and that sort of thing, um, what we want to really look at is what's going to stabilize the household. So if helping them with bus passes or gas to get them to work, uh, so they can bring in a paycheck for their family helps stabilize the house then that would be allowed or if um, keeping their lights on stabilizes the house or if there's an argument to be made that um, buying formula or food or uh, gas vouchers or things like that would stabilize the household would allow them to go on and be productive and go to work and earn a paycheck um, then they can do that and then that in turn would stabilize the household. Um, being part of an agency that we consider um, housing first basically means that we believe that you cannot be successful really in any part of your life until you're housed. You can't really focus on your mental health or your job or your family or the things that need to be done until you're housed. Uh, we have a lot of clients that try to work and, and do positive things for themselves and keep up their health and exercise and make their mental health appointments, but they're doing it from their car. And so it's really hard to um, make your mental health or your personal um, stability uh, your goal when you're living in your car and you don't have you know, a stable place to lay your head at night. So the actual grant is, um, is broken down. You'll see on page four where we talk about uh, cash and in-kind and the Dallas Community Foundation uh, with $3,000 donation. We've secured the rest of the money and then the total is 123000 so as you can see, even though the grant is not a huge grant, it actually um, totals $3,750, um, it definitely chips away. And we go, what we do is we secure the funds out of our own budget, and we go and apply for other small grants. We pull them together to make the large amount that we need. Um, if you look on page three, it talks about needing $25,500 for uh, direct client services. 63,609 for staff, which is wages and fringe. And then operating expenses are 24,100. And then for admin costs, we um, factored in $10,758. Um, the thing about the direct client services is that's 25,500 of that larger number out of this, um, that, that larger number that will go directly towards the clients. Um, and assisting them. The total annual budget, as you can see for the current year, is $206,000. Um, part of what the uh, Resource Center does in Dallas is we don't just uh, focus on long-term housing, but we also focus on resources and referrals. So we really want to utilize our money and our grants and our services, but we also want to make sure that everybody that comes to us is utilizing everybody else's services. Um, it's really important that the entire community is getting involved and that the person or the family that comes to us knows that not only can we help them, but there are a lot of other agencies out there that can help them as well. Um, so while we may only be able 
we may only be able to donate, you know, $500 or $1,000 or $50 if we can pull together with St. Vincent de Paul or um, UGM or some of the other agencies that also work with homeless, uh, maybe we can get enough resources together to really stabilize this family and help them stand up. So uh, on page four, you'll find the, uh, the project need description. And what it really talks about is the urgent need for uh, work with homelessness, the loss of employment, the uh, lack of medical care, uh, lack of transportation, that sort of things. Um, quarterly reports um, on the 211 website, 211 website. Um, rent assistance and energy assistance are among the three greatest needs of for callers in Polk County, which is, you know, huge. Um, in 2013, the Polk County Resource Center, which we're applying, um, uh, which I'm behind on behalf of, uh, got 466 calls for individuals uh, seeking emergency assistance to keep from being evicted. Um, so that it, with enough money, that basically means in 2013, we could have assisted 466 people, families, you know, essentially. So if it's two per family, you know, we're looking at, you know, uh, almost a thousand people. We could have, you know, kept that many people from being homeless, which is huge. Um, seeking uh, emergency assistance to keep their utilities from being uh, shut off in 2013 was 737 calls. And then uh, with mortgage payments, we received 398 calls in 2013. So really, if you add all those numbers up, which I should have done ahead of time, um, we're talking about it, it's just a huge amount of people in Polk County alone that have really called seeking assistance to try to keep their household stable. Um, living in an apartment or a house without utilities doesn't do you any good if you can't shower and you can't keep your lights on and can't feed your children. Um, and the, the need, it seems, every year is just getting bigger and bigger. Um, you'll see on page five that we talk about um, the things that we'll be covering with the funds. Uh, we're going to partner with food banks and that sort of thing to really make sure that everybody is being assisted to the best of our ability. We really hope that 100% um, of the people calling we can help, but that, of course, depends on the funds that we collect. 